Now, new details on how that Russian lawyer made it into the U.S. and was allowed to stay so long and who she connected to. Here's Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Herridge. Court records and transcripts reviewed by Fox News show the Russian lawyer at the center of the Donald Trump Jr. emails was granted a special immigration status by the Obama administration Justice Department, as first reported by the Hill newspaper. Natalia Veselnitskaya was the lawyer for a Russian businessman, Denis Katsyev, accused by federal prosecutors of laundering hundreds of millions of dollars in real estate transactions. The government bypassed the normal visa process and gave a type of extraordinary permission to enter the country called immigration parole, the documents state. That's a discretionary act that the statute allows the attorney general to do in extraordinary circumstances. Democrats say Republicans may be overplaying their hand. Clearly, the, someone in the United States government had to make an exception. And what we've learned, or what has been reported, is that the, that was granted in order to allow her to come to the United States, defend her client in a major international trial uh, in, in New York. That seems like a reasonable use of the parole option. After the June Trump Tower meeting with Donald Trump Jr., Jared Kushner, and then campaign chairman Paul Manafort, Veselnitskaya heads to Capitol Hill, where she can be seen in the background of this House Foreign Affairs Committee hearing. It's not clear what her immigration or parole status is at the time. Next week, one of the witnesses testifying before the Senate Judiciary Committee says Veselnitskaya also ran a robust campaign to repeal the Magnitsky Act that levied sanctions on Russian officials implicated in the death of an anti-corruption investigator. Bill Browder says the Russian lawyer hired Fusion GPS, the same firm connected to the unverified anti-Trump dossier. They took on a number of lobbyists, public relations people and others. and. Um, uh, one of the uh, firms that they took on as part of this campaign to have Magnitsky Act repealed was a firm in Washington, D.C. called Fusion GPS. The person who brought the dossier to the attention of Senator John McCain last fall, former British Ambassador Sir Andrew Wood, now emphasizes to Fox News that he could not vouch for the material. In an email exchange, Wood said, I understood that its general contents were known to others in the United States. The senator then arranged for the papers to be brought to him. It was up to the senator to decide what action, if any, he took throughout the whole process. Senator McCain's office did not immediately respond tonight, but in a January statement, McCain said he reviewed the dossier, could not make a judgment about its accuracy, and then passed the file to then-FBI Director James Comey. Grassley's office recently told Fox News the FBI has not responded to their request for more information, Brett. Catherine, thank you.